Welcome to the madness! Hey, how's it going, folks? The name's Steffi, and welcome back to some more Pathfinder Game Maker. Okay, so in the last episode, we uh, got our official invitation to the Rushlight Tournament at Pitax. So, that's what this whole arc is going to be about. So, what the hell is going to happen? Who knows? The only thing we do know is that Erevetti, the king, is a sneaky son of a bitch. So, we're going to have to be on our best behaviour, but importantly, our best guard. So, just to get started, straight back into the episode um we left off halfway through our level ups so yeah so we're just going to carry on with these quickly so yeah i hope everyone's doing well now i could have done all this in the last episode but to tell you the truth a i was running out of uh, recording time and b i didn't want the episode going on for too long despite not having any action or anything so we'll just do this quickly okay so we're gonna go bar 13 for bar oh a bar can start a bar that performance a swift action Oh, that is good. That is really good, considering that with Virtuoso Performance, oh, that means we have a move action so we can cast a spell or something at the same time. Oh, that's amazing. That is good. Okay, four points. We're going to go into Trickery. We're going to go into Use Magical Device, Persuasion, and let's just Weld, maybe? Yeah, sure. We'll see why not. So, yeah, I hope everyone's doing well today. Okay, and yes, another blissfully hot day today. Okay, Blazing Rondo, Distant Voice. Okay, so is that what we're looking at? Bardic Masterpieces for her? Clamber the Heavens. Evil creatures that hear the performance and fail are well saved are blinded at death for the duration. A successful save are shaken instead. Undead creatures with evil subside and fail saves are stunned for the duration. Ooh, that's not too bad. The dance of 32 steps. Uh, difficulty performance by using this mouth, you take a minus 2 penalty, mail and sick rolls. You must make a concentration check to cast these spells, DC plus spells level. We gain plus two on your own class when you have eight power for every four hundred. The penalty increases by minus one, or does increase by plus one. You combine this masterpiece with fighting defensively and you combat expertise, but not total defense. No, double time. Yeah. Okay, I think that's it for the bardic, bardic masterpieces. Me thinks. Um. Okay, so I know she's more of a controller kind of thing to a degree. So I'm wondering, I should be looking at more. Should I look at stuff to actually increase her? Bard stuff, or should I be looking at stuff to help with her control stuff? Good question. Mm, like, for example, Cautious Fire. With fighting defensively, your dodge bonus to AC increased by 2. That could work. That'd be a nice little boost for him, he thinks. Powerful Dodge. Threatening opponent, you gain plus 1 to AC. It's a dodge feat for acquiring your huge intelligence, rather dexterity. Nah. Uh, yeah, I think might as well go with, um... Yeah, I think we'll go with, uh, what was it? Combat casting, combat expertise. Plus one to armor each. Actually, combat expertise might be pretty nice. Mm, try and make it more defensive, maybe. Dodge. Hmm. I like this, what's this do? Plus two to persuasion checks? No. Yeah, I'm going to take extra performances, because that's what I kind of use it for, to be fair. Just for performances, so getting extra ones would be pretty nice. Okay, so we get another little free spell. Nice. Uh, Shell and Hunt Champion. Too good. <laughs> it really is too good. Sure, let's get that. Uh, fifth level, okay. We can get Shadow Invocation. Song of Discord, what's this? Spell causes those in the area to turn each other rather than tell pills. Each affected creature has a 50% chance to attack and do target each round. We'll determine each creature's bravery behavior every round at the beginning of this turn. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. And our cloak of dreams, maybe? Uh nope. Creator heroism? Nope. Mind fog. Nope. Fantastical web? Hmm, nope. Resonating word. Are you speak a term of sort of leaf of vibrations? No. Look at Shadow Evocation. Just give us some more stuff to use as a bard, I suppose. Kind of treating them like magical secrets from D&D. But this is a big one. Body Inspirations are swift action. So good. Okay, Caldor. Alright, so... We can go Crusader 10, or we can go... Halden 6, 7, 4. I mean, I could go into Divine Bond, actually. Divine Bond could work. 
Spirit grants one bonus for free levels. Uh, for each bonus can be used, you should grant one new power enhancement. It's possible to cast a level or use power to spell. 1d6 to channel positive energy. That's pretty good. Also, we get a chance of positive energy here. No, I think we'll just go Cleric. Yeah, we get extra BAB, Fortitude will receive a bonus feat, which is going to be pretty nice. Okay, one point, I guess that's going into Religion. Okay, so we get Proof. Okay, so we get Proof, Critical, Channel Smite, no. What have we got? Weapon the Chosen, we have Improved Weapon the Chosen, we got Great Weapon the Chosen. We use Deity's favorite weapon to attempt a single attack with the attack roll. You roll two dice for your attack roll to take the highest result. You do not need to use the weapon to chosen feats again as feats benefit. Hell yeah. We'll take that. That could work as, um, yeah, to tell you the truth, that could work as, like, advantage, that. Okay, we take greater weapon focus. Um, very critical weapon specialization. Your skill deal on damage from one weapon. You get plus two in all damage rolls you make with selected weapon. Hmm. Okay, proof critical, greater weapon focus. Plus one attack rolls. Stacks with attack rolls coming those from weapon focus. Hmm. Yeah, okay. And then, what is it? Shit. <laughs> longsword, that's it. Alright, yeah, we're gonna go longsword. Alright. I do. Very open chosen. Uh huh. Kind of working into the smite side. Alright, Jubilost. Yeah, Jubilost we're going uh, Battle Host, right? Battle Host of Cultus. I love this build. This class is amazing. Okay, Trickery, Stealth, Arcana, World. Next. Okay, so we have... What's that? Focus Power. Uh-huh. Okay, let's see. So we've got Weapon Finesse. We've got Quick Draw so we can switch. Weapon Focus, Rapier, Prana Strike. Shield Focus. We also have Precise Shot, I suppose. Uh... Deadly Aim could work, maybe, for range, but we're kind of using them for more. Um, Third Stance. As of one hand, you can use your... Oh, so your strength modifier retreat. Nah, I'm going to use Scimitar, so using Rapiers. There's a Grace. You dash your style for the... Okay, choose one kind of light or one piercer, such as Rapier. When weapon chosen, you can use your dex modifier, say so your strength modifier, instead of weapons damage. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, we need to... Oh, we... do we already have that? Already got that, so we don't need that. Okay, that's so much a waste. Um, what profile could work? Uh, spell focus, two up and five, five strike, hindrance shield. No, do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go spell penetration because there's some spells that, we, like for example, that we use that we need spell penetration for. Okay, so we've got light matrix. That's from evocation. Radiance. It's not actually it's such a weapon because of glow provides light torch. You know, if goes critical hit, the wielder can choose to end the effect, causing the foes to be surrounded by the rays before. And we have a wall of power. There's a pool wall, and the wall was 2d8 pounds, and it was one wall of power. Yeah, let's go wall of power. That'll be good for uh, control, we think. Perfect. Okay, so you want... Uh... Chief on next, so she's going full undead lord. Cleric, that's fine. Well, kind of, we'll go religion. Good, 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 good. All right, so what's her stuff? So select channeling, extra channeling, improved natural armor, as I shot, extra channeling, and we got improved channeling. Um, basically focus on the channel stuff, right? That's right. Um, uh, extra channeling, improved spare sharing. That could work for her and her skeleton, I suppose. Hmm. Evolved companion. Maybe we could go evolved companion actually. Improved natural armor. Yeah, but it's not really the ones that we're looking for, to tell you the truth. Die hard? No. Uh, stress and charge, elemental focus, endurance, great fortune, pro critical proof initiative. I will link reflexes. Anything for spell stuff? Shield, spell, steadfast personality. You can add your charisma modifier, so have your wisdom based on will save against mind that now. Still, this one got the toughness. It's about penetration. Shielded caster, yeah, but it's just a teamwork feat. Space save outflank. I 
guess we'll just take... Hmm, weapon focus? Yeah, I guess we'll take weapon focus longbow, because that's what she's using. Give her plus one to attack rolls, but she's not using spells. No work. And yeah, we got some other spells as well, which is pretty nice. Okay, Darius. Forest of 13. Where he's going to give us a combat feat, fair terrain, and improve fair terrain as well. Alright, two points uh, nature and perception. So that's what we're specializing in. Okay, great spell focus. Now that could work. Hmm. Here we go. Height spell, medium armor focus, quicken spell, this spell, spell focus, evocation. I think I'll double down on that, so unless there's some um, like combat feats we want to take. Not really. Kind of got stuff to want. Like spell penetration might be best. Mm, plus two and cast levels. Hmm, maybe. And then again, we're going to go greater spell focus of evocation. Let's go first world, that'll come in handy. Okay, group combat feet. Uh, let's see here, so we've gone. Proved initiative. Uh, I'm going to get up, rapid shot. Um, so I don't know, you know. Uh, combat reflexes, armored focus. We could get heavy armor proficiency. Give him heavy armor, but he's got plenty of AC as is. Am I reflexes? No. That's what I could do. Let's have a decent dex. Defensive combat training. You treat your total hit dice, your base attack bonus when calculating you. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Uh, favorite terrain, we already got the first one. I thought we already had the first world. Huh. So we could choose the second one? Hmm. No, we'll go forest. Oh, improved. Yeah, I think... I think we're pretty much going to go into the first walk quite a bit, so yeah, like from this point forward, so we might as well. Okay, so we got a little free spell. Um, burst of nettles. Call now, do I take soft damage and burst and damage on next? No. Million stride? Except. No. Earth tremor? Hmm. Sheet Lightning. Strong Jaw, Second Wind. Yeah, I think we'll pick up another Resist Energy uh, commercial. Should be useful. Okay, Key Fangs. Uh, you create a magical trap that causes a sense of bite and intruder. Dark types. No. Genie Kai, Fire Snake. I'll take Wall of Fire, that'll be useful. Any other evocation spells or anything like that? Nope, that's the only evocation spell. Tidal Surge. You create an ongoing war at Tiffy High, and it does 1d4 blizzard for two cast levels. Uh, follow if I said pushed. Actually, that could be a good, um... Actually, it could be a good emergency push away, actually. G kind of might be pretty good. Cure critical wounds, cave, uh, call lightning storm. Hmm. Nah, that'll do. Okay, next. Uh-huh. Nice. So he's got some new toys. Okay, we got a Paladin 14. Jeez, we're already 15 minutes into this. Okay, additional use. Uh, bonus feet. Okay, nice. Alright, one point. Let's go to Persuasion. Says that's what he is. He's a face. Get attacked three times now. Very nice. Uh, Pure Critical. Yes, might do that. Power attack. Uh, just my one time goes two. Don't know. I'm just good by half. Hmm. Tell shield specialist. Yeah. Do we have any more shields? Uh, do we have any more shield type? No. Toughness and hindrance shield. No, I don't think we need that, do we? No, not really. Uh, right, I think we'll just go Brief Critical then, and then it's Long Spear, right? Yeah, that's what he uses. Long Spear. Guardian bonus, uh, toughness, lightning reflexes, proof will. Let's go with Improve Will. I'm Will, just to help out. Why do we go Combat Roof uh, Endurance? No. 
Actually, plus two in the blessed checks and plus four. Oh no, saves against fatigue and exhaustion. No. We'll take a proof. I'm well. I'll do. Yeah, nice. Okay, next person. Julia Silvermark. Right, I think we're going to go Silvermark. So we get Evasion, we get Confident Explorer. Can always take 10 on Trickery Tracks. Bard me, not take 10 roll normally. Aegis Sense, and we get some new spells, I think. Or we could take Fighter Free and get a combat. Uh, do you want, yeah, let's go Lower Warden. Law Warden. Uh, two, we've got Persuasion, we go use Magical Device. Okay, we can go Lingering Performance, which could be pretty nice for him. Uh, Body Aspiration, Disarm. Yeah, see, he's more of a dirty tricker in here. Uh, oh yeah, Greater Fate. Here we go. Whenever you use Fate to cause opponents to lose Dex bonus, you lose the bonus at the beginning of your next turn. In addition, you lose Dex bonus against your next attack. Oh yeah, Greater Fate. Sure, that'll work. Okay, bonus combat feet. Uh, disarm destructive. DC cast spells. Nope. Um, shield focus. Straight through. Tandem trip. Now we're using dirty trick. We don't want to specialize in them, even though we could do if we wanted to. I think we'll go great weapon focus and just go S stock. That'll work. Yep, not too bad. Right, sweet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, it's a bastard nine. Drill sergeant three armor training. No, let's go vindictive bastard nine. Again, just give us more spells and stuff. And again, this no use of vindictive smite. Two points. Guess it's gonna be ward and persuasion. You never know, right? Okay. Let's see, so we've got an Armor Juggernaut, we've got Greater Trip. Anything that pops out that we can use? Proof Critical, Proof Faint, no. Uh, Shield Priest, I uh, use two other, no, I should not use two other weapons. Shield, Tower Shield. Well, Sanction Knowledge, pick one spell, second level, third level spell from Barry Clue. I'm going to lose that spell, see the list. Yeah, we take that actually. Yeah, we'll take that. That'll work. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Okay, um, I think what we'll take is... Give us some extra spells to use, I suppose. Uh, right, I think we'll go for a nice level one one. Let's go with a... Expeditious Retreat. Increase spell almost by 30, that'll do. Uh, second level, Flames of the Faithful, what's this? When you touch, you cause a growing room to appear on a single weapon, grand out of the flame property, and learn that you cause less than 1d6 points to 6 foot. Here's a judgment, judgment class feature, your weapon grants to you instead. The spell punch is only the weapons you wield. If the weapon leaves for any reason, the spell effect ends, and it's one round per level. I like that, I might go to, yeah, I might go Flames of the Fable, that works. Um, for level 3, I think we'll go with, um, I like Cloaks, that's pretty good. Plus 2 to AC, good work. Uh, Good help. Ace magical vestment. Flash of energy. C thundering drums. Wall nausea. Lucky weakness. Uh, let's manage. Yep. Yeah, we'll go with haste. I'll see why not. And then level four. I think we'll go with smite abomination. John Pan, you unleash some power to smite the dead. Choose one undead equal to your target. Gain equal to Christmas Muslim with higher attack rolls. As one creature within the range, your attack and my bounces. One round per level. Yeah, it takes my abomination. Just trying to think of things that will work for her. Yeah, give her some extra stuff. That sounds pretty good. Spell some extra spells as well. Nice. Okay, Kingsley's not leveled up. Okay, the final one. Of course, Craze. And we're going to go with Wizard 13. Your expense applies marriage feast day spells like via patron curse. He treats his spells finally equal to point oh. Okay, great, great expanse. To roll twice at the check. And lich. As undead add to me to your list of further logical spells known. Yeah. Alright, three points. Bang, bang, and bang. Okay, so we have great spell, necromancy, precise shot, pharaonic spell. So spell, we've got time stutter. Uh, but that's going to be take. Alchemy Affinity, 
No, force busting, most power, opposite research. Slaying illusions, nope, none of those. Point like shot, spell focus. Yeah. No, we can't repick that, unfortunately. We need greater spell focus. Um. Proof great fortitude. Proof channel. I don't know why we got channeling in the first place. Uh, we don't need any more maths magic. Uh. Say shield proficiency, I suppose. <laughs> Spider summoner. When creating either a summon monster or summon agent, your options decrease. Summon monster, giant craft spider, giant black widow, ogre spider, giant tarantula, giant craft spider. <sighs> I could do, but no, because I am a raptophobic, no big Uh, I guess we'll just go on spell penetration. You never know, right? You never know, especially when we're facing creatures of higher spell resistances and stuff, you know what I mean? Oh, shit. Alright, so we learn two new spells, seven level spells. Great undead, and we're gonna go with uh, a bull strike. Nope. With his exhaustion. Nope. Finger of death. Oh, we're gonna go control undead. You should never know, right? No. Uh, do the thing. Oh, cloud who's away, plane sickness. And you want? Yeah, we'll take plague storm. That sounds pretty good. Right up his alley, eh? There's. Yeah, spell penetration, create on dead plague store. Right, there. Finally. All the level ups are done. Well, as I thought, I just thought we'd just do the level ups. That's it sorted. Right, okie dokie then. Right, I suppose we best start getting our tread on then. Now, I do notice that we have some dex damage or some strength damage. Do we have a potion of. That's a restoration, good question. Yeah, I'm kind of doing. Okay, your sauce is good, Darius. No? Oh, right. Because it needs to be in the party. Got it. Okay, no worries then. Right, let me just drop a quick save then, so we don't have to do that all over again. And we can finally start heading towards the brush light. No. There's two people we need to take. We need to take Lucy. And we need to take Octavia. Because... Lindsay's quest revolves around... Yeah, so Lindsay's quest revolves around um, going to Pickstaff to meet somebody, and uh, Octavia's side quest revolves her trying to find a mother because she's the Sharonness, or basically some kind of ability. I know that much. So, goodbye, YouTube. So, we want Lindsay, we want Octavia, if I can find her. Perfect. Uh, right, in terms of other people, uh, who we're not used in a while. Alright, we're not used Kingsley in a while. That's saying we're not used Crazy in a while. And one more. Uh, go beam up. Um, thank you. Yep, alright, bring beam up with us. Yep, we got two casters. Actually, three casters. Well, that's two casters, one support, and two frontline, I believe. Well, three frontline if you class the idol. And you know, personally, I could just. Make everybody playable in the party. <laughs> yeah, there's actually a, there's actually an option in the, uh, the Bag of Tricks mod where you can have more party members than you normally can. You can have as many as you want as far as I'm aware. I had like 20 on one field once. <laughs> and the other party had a platoon. <laughs> but yeah, and before anybody asks, no, I did not have turn based on. Otherwise, we'd be there all bloody day, honestly. Okay, right, so uh, let's, uh, let's get to this game, finally, eh? So yeah, so I do uh, I do thank everybody for the patience during the level-ups, if anyone was watching the level-ups. I can understand if people just want to skip them. But now we're back on track. Okay, so as the plan, as I stated, basically we're going to head over to uh, the Rush like tournament, which is here. So we need to end up here. And then from there, we're going to do our business here, and then we're going to come up to here, do all the monster hunting here, and then we're going to go up to the Shark Fangs Tribal Camp with uh, Gungan. At the same time, we'll do the Lost Dwarven Fortress with, um, with Harum. And we do need to put in the order for the Broken Sword Repairment for Amiri as well. So we've got a few things we need to do. Yeah, we do have a, a few things we need to do. Humans are reach. 
Okay, can we just pop in here for a second just to do it? Alright, let's see what's going on. I'm not joking, I've been drinking like an alky today. It's so warm. It really is. Okay, so projects. Uh, Reforging the sword. We know about. Supporting the general's endeavors. We'll do that soon. So that's the only one there. Speaking of which, we could do that now. Yep, we could do that now because we've got the BP. Very nice. So that will sort out a Miri side quest. Not to mention it will prepare her Bastard Sword as well. So she'll be useful once again. But we're still kind of kicked her out. Kicked, kicked her out? Kitted her out to use a great sword instead. Yeah. Kind of odd, like, the difference between, you know, the difference between a great sword and a bastard sword, you know. Uh, yeah, sure. We'll rest up, I suppose. Okay, let's have a look. So, um... Okay, crazy one here. Um... You go into here. Instantly go to here. Be about, you do some cooking, pal. I mean, I don't know if you... Not if you can do anything, but you know. And then Lindsay, uh, he's, oh sorry, not Lindsay, uh, Tavia. Actually, he's better cooking. I oh, know, this is a... Alright, tell you what, you go help out, um... You go, <laughs> tell you what, you go help be a man in the kitchen. There we go. Come up with some nice northern food, eh? <laughs> Let's see, is he beat it? Oh, he's actually beat it. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Wonder what the wonder what the DC check on that was. You know the rule. Ooh, will it tell us? I don't think so. No, it won't tell us. It won't tell us. Day. Somebody's on the road. Perfect. What's this about, eh? And as well as it's scripted. Say I run the fight, so God knows what this is. Well, let's have a look. Alright, who is going to beseech us today? He will be Ooh. Victorious. What's happening? Cultists fight you? I'm confused, what? Cultists? Huh? What are these guys? Of late? Cultists? Why are you facing us? Huh? No bloody idea. Routine, you've got summer strike there. Eh, do we really need waste anything? Yeah, so we could probably test out some of our new spells actually. Yeah, let's see why not. Oh, we got rested to do the new spells, that's all. Right, let's go circle of death. Wow, I killed a few of them, didn't it? Cultist fighter is a mute circle of death. Ooh. I wonder why, eh? I wonder, wonder why. Good night. <laughs> Two crits back to back. Oh. Oh. Did you see that there? Oh, I see. These guys are from the first world. Okay. Because this one transformed into an owlbear. Interesting. Okay, let's have you. Uh, let's go for a hungry pit if we can. Can we go for a hungry pit, please? Um, hungry pit, but let's we'll wait to know until I see if it succeeds a... Eh? Same throw. Yeah, see. The blue. The bloom is still in effect. Brill. Blooming brilliant. Okay, right. Uh, Kingsley. Uh, it's been a while, pal. It's been a while. Can we charge it someone? Not really. Alright, I'll stick you as far forward as possible. Can't. That's right, remind me of your setup. What is your setup, by the way? Uh, we've got the full plate plus two. Yeah, full ring protection plus two. Braces arm. We're also very flail plus two. Longbow, the cold moon. That's for some rage. Yeah, okay. Makes sense. 
Alright, that's waiting now. Oof. Oof. How dirty. Jesus. Okay, these guys are actually hitting hard. They're hitting very hard. Alright, 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 alright. I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. Um, okay, right. Well, I don't know if it's best to be cast one of these. Um. Let's burn courage. Yeah, let's do that. Then we can still cast a spell, which is beautiful. Uh, could do that, but we're not going to. Do slumber. Good help. Help. Cast Grace. Babble. Nope, that'll fetch you. Uh, cause fear. Try as cause fear. Uh, nope. You. Hmm, okay. Yeah, that's six. Die, Denison of the Abyss. The Kingdom of the Cleanse does not tolerate sacrilege. Fucking hell, these guys are tough. Okay, I completely underestimated them. That's the reason why. That's the reason why. Level 18, are you kidding me? I've not even saved it or anything. Shit. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, no problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. Do I have animate dead? I do. Okay, I got a little idea. Let's go time stop. No ashes left this turn. Right, let's end. So I'm just gonna skip everybody's turn and come back to crazes. Okay, how many turns do I have left of this? I have one more round of this. That's fine. Because what we could do is we can do this then. And I'll give some I'll give some backup, I suppose. Your life science, yep. Got familiar. Can use the Adam. So I think he's not high enough. Okay, let's wait. Of course then I gotta do anything. Let's bats our turn. And then we're gonna move back as fast as we can. And then hold on. What do we have? Scroll of fireball. Okay, these guys are not targeted because they're not technically part of it. Actually, no. Um, try. Want a displacement? Just cross a feeble body? No. Nope. Um, must be something we can use. Manchie blast, circle of death. No. Nope. Classification. Save for all succeeded. A shape. Aim carefully. Twenty two, seventeen. Twenty one. Okay, that's fine. He is exhausted. Staggered, sorry. Okay, right, okay. We seem to be doing okay. Uh here we go. Okay, let me try out this um not shell club, where is it? Where's vanishing trick? I want to check out this vanishing trick. A calculated risk. Sneak attack. All right, sweet. Okay. Right, you, my friend. <laughs> you. Let's go post your shield of faith, crease your AC. I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but you know, I'm actually fall in a second. Uh, Octavia. Yeah, we need to get some summons going on. Summon a bogey man. Hopefully the Pokemon will help. Allah, 
He was fear. It's just spare, eh? Miss. Okay, yeah. That's outside door and down. Okay, Lindsay, uh, I need you back up a little bit. Um, I don't know what to do with you, actually. I don't know what to do with you. Good hope. Deep slumber. Try it. Okay, that guy's sleeping. So that guy's incapacity. Good. One less person on the field. Is that opportunity? Uh huh. Okay, he goes to skeleton archers. This. That's this as well. That's completely fine. Okay, Craze. Um, let's go with a. Let's go with a bow shaker and this guy. 17. I like it. Okay, beam up. Keep pounding the uh, the greeter. Bear. Albert. One more. Yes. One down. Okay. Okay. Okay, definitely. Let's uh let's finish off this other Albert, shall we? <laughs> let's go extra attack. A well we're invisible. Here we go. Bang, bang, bang. Yes. Bang. What you do for the rest of your life, you'll always be garbage. Oh, you cannot say to me, you cannot say to me that this is a dirty, dirty combo. <laughs> of course, this only works with the Darren Doom mod for the daggers, but I'd imagine it will still be as effective with uh, throwing axes or whatever, or even just a melee build in general. Honestly. That is amazing. That is absolutely amazing. And do you know what? To tell you the truth, just finish him off, please. <laughs> That's what killer, eh? Nice. Right. Sorry, I'm just fixing my thing. Sorted. Well, that wasn't too bad, was it? Okay, dagger plus one. Yeah, I'll just take the other uh, stuff, I suppose. Uh, two. Yeah, but that was very, very odd, that. Cults, cultists. I said the, um... Uh, yeah, we'll take the quartz and we'll take the jewellery. But yeah, it's weird because it said that, um... Actually, you know what, actually, we need to sort of formation out, actually. We do. Okay, uh, let's get Kingsley up front. We'll get as I said all to the side. We'll get Beam out to the side. You can go at the back. And we'll do something. I'll tell you what, we'll do something like. Something like this. Keep our casters at the back. That'll work. Yeah, that was really odd, though. I wasn't expecting that kind of thing. I mean, to be honest, for a second, I just thought it was just normal bandits or something. I wasn't expecting two greater fucking owlbears to come out. <laughs> to come out of left field and just start doing what I was doing. Jesus. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that whatsoever. Jesus Christ. Well, that was, uh... That was quick. That was quick. That was, uh... That was rough. Yeah, that was really rough. Yeah. Are you forgetting who specialized Kreese is? You know, being a necromancer. Like, uh, you know, somebody specialized in necromancer. I mean, in the right situations, he is really good. He is really good at doing what he does, but... See if you've got like a bunch of people who's immune to that kind of stuff. Do you know what? There was a reason I knew something was odd. Especially with that little guy, the halfling, the halfling warrior. When he said he was immune to circle of death, I knew something was up. Right, but before we do anything, uh, I want to go over the spell books. Cause... Excuse me. Uh, I want to create craze. I want to get craze some new spells. Okay, we've got fourth one's free. Okay, so we've got wall blindness, we have fear. Um, let's go into the bone shatter, that's just for damage. Okay, we've got another one free here, we've got suffocation. Uh, let's go whacking braces, we have, no, don't. 
Yeah, that's it, isn't it? Black and grey. Uh, let's go suffocation. So we're not. Sixth level will be. Ready guard, Banshee Blast, Curse Major. Uh, actually, that could work. Spell functions, Curse, except to move for Keeper's DC. Yeah, we'll try the Curse Major. That could work for some control. And of course, seven level spells. We want a uh, Metal Magic Hold On. We want seventh level. Create Undead, which would be what? Extended spell? Oh, yes. Let's write that. Play Storm. Yes. Would that be extended? Nice, let's go seven soul spells. Let's go book. Yep, we want Crate Undead. And of course, we want Plague Store. Nice. Okay, so it's got seven little spells in. Perfect. Okay, then, right, without further ado, then, let's, uh, let's carry on then. If we can rest up, then nice. Okay, Kingdom's there, but unfortunately, we can't do anything. Right, let's get into Big South then. Hmm. Wonder if I should explore for a little bit. Just try to map our thing a little bit. Resting would be nice, don't you think? Yeah, we will, we will. Ooh, peaceful travelers. Yeah, sure. Roach. Peaceful travelers. Ooh, this might be the uh, skeleton horseman, because from what I understand, the skeleton horseman. Um, well, the skeleton salesman can sell different things depending on what region he is in. That's the one thing I noticed. So I wonder if being in a new region might have some new stuff for sale. We'll see. Unless it's completely something different altogether. Who knows? Alright, let's see who it is anyway. I feel tired. Yeah, just so far. All according Hello, dude. Hello. Alright, show me where's. Let's have a look. Let's see if he's got anything new. Okay, I can't make like it for a bean. Half plate stability, what's this? Uh just plus three half plate grants this warrior, plus two bonus, the same throws of fades and me days of shaking condition. Interesting. Greater cold resistance. Ray blocker. Uh plus three light shield gives us wielder, plus four bonus, the same throws against all spells and location school. Okay. Speed cross the short spear, trident, sickle, scimitar, Malax. Hmm. I'm looking at this half plate stability actually. Hmm. The fifty-one thousand. Plus three. Not to mention it looks pretty cool. But no, I think we'll pass it. We'll just sell whatever's for offer. We'll sell these daggers plus ones, we don't need them. We'll keep the rings though, because you never know. There we go. Yeah, okay, no problem. Yeah, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to have a look around to see if we can find um, Octavia's. Try to see if we can find Octavia's, like, because she mentioned about a, um, a little town house, something like that. So yeah, I'm trying to find out where she is. I might have to double check the map actually. Maybe I did come across the um maybe I did come across the the location and just haven't found it yet. But we'll see, we'll see. Pick Tav is supposed to be a big region, so you know. Or we just go straight to the uh the temp or we go straight to the uh I've got the name of it already. Light Rush Tournament. Light Rush Tournament? Rush Light? Light Rush? Rush 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 Light. Yeah? Rush Light. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. My memories are safe. My memories are cold. Watch like. Okay, let's go into a different region. Ooh. Uh, okay, yeah. I suppose. At least we can go in full. Friends, we had a glorious feast after the coronation, but I'd still like to propose another toast to our friend. To you, our leader. May your kingdom stand for a thousand years. Yeah. To you. You deserve it. Thank you. <laughs> I'm still interested to see how the uh, the assert name realms work. Does it take does it take like a portion of your name and then it automatically generates the name of it? Because I mean the silent realms, you know, being silent gleam, that's the only thing I thought about. Oh, that's right, we need negative energy for him, of course I completely forgot. Because he's technically undead because of him being a a drow, that's right. Oh shit, I don't think we've got any potions for that, have we? Not really. Ooh, shit. Uh, critical. Oh yeah, you got fully critical runes. Okay, we can heal you down. No problem then. Alright, save the game then. And then let's start this stuff, shall we? Mm hmm. 
Rock Island. Just one. There, see, Pitax is massive. Yeah, I get literally all the... Oh, Wicked Hill, is this it? No, there's something that we came across. Yeah, Pitax is massive. And then this is a hidden area here, I think. A thousand voices, yeah. Okay. Alright, well, without further ado, let's get straight into this then. Let's go then. Bushlight Fields. Right, so let's be on our best behaviour. Let's field guard, because God knows what's going to be here. Ooh, actually, that's my timer. <laughs> that's actually my timer, shit. Ooh, yeah, I guess we'll have to wait till the next episode, eh? Right, well, let's push the episode just a little longer, and we'll get a nice taste of things, and then we'll, we'll save it before we start any major events, eh? Yeah. Ooh, that's a bit of a tease, isn't it? Maybe I should have ended it there. I didn't realise I was close to ending. Oh, excuse me. Dry throat. I'm beginning to drink later on. Honestly, too, too warm for... Too warm. Okay, talk to Italian guitar. Ooh, hello. Okay, what kind of neat, what kind of voice should we use for this guy? Castruccio Irovetti. King Irovetti greets you personally. The bulky coward is broad-shouldered and looks to be somewhat around 50 years of age. His golden crown sits on a long, greasy hair above a heavily powdered face covered in bristle. An expensive double is stained with oily spots. He goffs as he sneezes you and squeezes you in a bear hug, enveloping you. An epic sense of sweat, wine, and expensive perfume. Well, my crown-bearing sister, welcome to my home. Hmm. Stuff yourself, drink, be my guest. You've proven yourself in combat as well as affairs of state. <laughs> Let's see how you do at having fun. Okay. How should we play this? Because I have a feeling... I have a very, very, very big feeling, depending on our options, is going to play a massive part in this. Do we be openly hostile? Do we be joyful and playful? Because you got to remember, Irovetti is very, very smart. So even though he's coming across as a big luggy guy, we'd always really like through other people. Let's, uh... Let's play nice. I think it's best we play nice. I'm happy to finally meet you. It's no good for kings and queens to stay in our palaces all the time. We need to meet, be friends with one another. It's all about keeping up neighborly relations. Don't believe you. So here's the plan. First, the fish's triathlon. Then, a boasting contest. And in the evening, the best part, <laughs> a drunken melee. In the interim, there'll be a buffet, a fair, jugglers, acrobats, all the usual entertainment. And after the melee, I'll announce the winner. And then we'll have a festive banquet and a fireworks show. <laughs> then we just drink till morning or find a tent to crawl into. Your own or someone else's, depending on your luck. <laughs> By the way, a knockout such as yourself will always be welcome in my tent. <laughs> just joking. Just a joke. <laughs> mm. Okay, so we are getting involved with this. The boasting contest? That's going to be Lindsay all day. The drunken melee? Beer mat. I mean, come on. Beer mat. Beer mat. That suits him to a T. So we'll see. Oh, and one more thing. I'll have to seal your sheath. This is a peaceful celebration, after all, and bullies will be kicked out immediately. It doesn't matter if it's a king who decided to kick up a row or just the shopkeeper. So behave yourself and don't start any fights while you're here. Yeah, well, fucking key to your own rules, pal. Well, I have to go. If you need anything, talk to Nunzio or Fire. He is my master of ceremonies, so he's responsible for organizing this mess. <laughs> have fun. 
looks like it's got like a dash, I think, or something. Right, well, I'll tell you something. That's a bit well. We will seal our sheaf. As long as he plays, as long as he seals his mouth. <laughs> nah, seriously, this should be entertaining. This should be very, very entertaining. Okay, so anyway, folks, yeah, I'm going to end it here. So in the next episode, we're going to participate in the Light Rush Tournament. And we're going to see what scandals will appear. And we'll see if anything happens to us. A poison cup. An undrawn blade to our neck. Who knows? The dance of fools and kings is about to begin. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching today's episode. Please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Links down below. Check them out if you wish. Apart from that, enjoy the rest of your awesome day. I'll see you next time. Take care.